So Minecraft 1.8 is going to be quite the doozy. Um, that trick I just demonstrated, the x-ray potion, um, it's basically achieved using this section right here. This just gives you the the potion that has the x-ray. Um, I'll show you these real quick, but I'll just describe what's going on. So basically what this command is doing, or these sets of commands I should say, is it's, it's testing to see if you have a special potion effect. Once it detects that, it replaces all of the stone blocks around you with barrier blocks. And once the potion wears off, it turns them, uh, it replaces the barrier bo blocks with stone again. So we'll go over the commands real quick. First we'll go over the potion command. Um, this is just obviously just a give command with a potion. It's one of them. Um, and it uses custom potion effects. And the ID on this one is 2, which is slowness. And then it also uses 16, which is night vision, so you can see everything. Now the reason why it's giving slowness is that you need to immobilize the player because when it runs these, um, this is actually a clock right here and basically these clumps right here of eight um, command blocks, these are what is replacing the stone with a barrier block or a barrier block with stone. Basically this one does the barrier block. We'll just look at the command real quick. It uses the execute command so it uses the player and then you'll see that the 0.0, .0 after each of these the reason why you see 0.0, .0 after all of these coordinates that are relative to the player is because um, you can kind of see it now at the top where it says x z y or x y z right here you can see that there are um, remain or there are decimal places after the coordinate basically um, using the 0.0, .0 chops those off. Otherwise you could be on the edge of a block and it wouldn't, it would uh, create like a strip along one side where it wouldn't fill the blocks properly. So that's just there to prevent it. But um, as you can see it's just a fill command um, in a 15 or 16 by 16 area. Um, it says 15 because obviously there's, it's going to count the block that you're in. And then obviously it just it does a barrier and replaces it with stone and the other side is the same thing. So when I run it up here you'll see that this command right here this is doing a test for and it's testing for a player and it's testing the player's MBT data and it's looking for an active effects of 2B which is slowness and it's also testing if the player is on the ground. Um, basically I did that because if you're up in the air and you're falling it will transform an area up top with a barrier block and then when it runs it again after the effect is worn off it will be further down so it won't undo the changes that were done up top. So this basically makes sure that, makes sure that the player is on the ground with uh, on ground. And I'll go ahead and run it up here so you can see what it does. Basically one side um, there's like a knock gate so when I drink the potion, this side's going to execute, and then after the potion wears off, the comparator will turn off, and then this side will execute. So I'll go ahead and drink. Oh, it's not running because I'm... <laughs> there we go. Yeah, so if I'm on the ground... Whoops. You see that side executes, and then... That side executes. So it's it's really, I think it's pretty cool myself. Um, as for the rest of this, this is just a, this portion here is just a set block clock. And you can stop, um, stop it with the, uh, by powering the redstone block so that the air uh, block can, has a chance to destroy it. You can start it again with this command block, so. Yeah, I kind of wish that um, I could prevent the FOV from zooming in. But um, you can see on the potion effect, I use an amplifier of 20. And this is to immobilize the player. Uh, I'm going to show you what happens when I set this to like 1. So that the player, or actually 0. 0 so that the player can walk around and why I 
why I have to uh, disable the player from moving around. So I'll go ahead and run this again down here. It'll kind of do something like this, but this was uh, something else. Um, actually, just a second. Okay, there we go. I kind of forgot the parameters. So this way you can see it a little better. So um, I can show you what happens when you can move around when, when you're running this. And you can see it's kind of kind of flipped out a little bit, but you can see over here it didn't delete the barrier blocks. So that's why um, you have to prevent the player from moving at all. So I'm going to include a schematic of this, and you should be able to just uh, plop it anywhere into uh, into any world, and then you can have a an X-ray potion. I hope you enjoyed the video. Have a good evening.